and I'm back with Oliver Rentschler. He's the Director General for Climate Diplomacy, Economic Affairs and Technology here at the Federal Foreign Office in Germany. And I think you're going to give us a few first takeaways from the first day and a half of the BETD. I'm happy to do so. Thank you very much, Jennifer. And I would start with the BETD as a dialogue platform, because that is what it is about, and that is what was very difficult for the last two years when this happened in virtual meetings. But now, this year, we're back in full strength. We've seen a packed Weltsaal for the opening um, event. We have seen since multiple encounters. We've seen bilateral meetings. We've seen really even partnership agreements signed. So networking at its best. And this is what BETD is about. And I think that would be a first takeaway. Second, I would speak about the federal government, the new federal government, and its commitment to energy vende, to make the energy vende happen. And I think it's really manifested uh, through the participation of four cabinet ministers. We have heard three of them already. We're going to hear a fourth one in a few moments. But then I would also say a few words about the context in which this BETD edition did take place. Of course, the Russian aggression against Ukraine was present. It was present in many speeches, it was present in many discussions, and it was on everyone's mind. Here again, I think what one could observe is one, a consternation by really all participants, a frustration, indignation about this aggression. So I think that united all participants. But second, also, there was a unanimous feeling that this very aggression makes the case for energy transition even stronger. So in addition to the climate-related imperative, there is also a very clear, clear security imperative now for the energy transition. And the third element that in this context became obvious that the consequences of this Russian aggression, they're really global. We had many participants from all over the world, and there's no corner in this world where the negative impact of this aggression is not felt. And I would say, particularly in the global south, there are many countries now struggling with the impact. So that would also make us all even stronger in our commitment to make the transition a just transition. I think just transition really in capital letters. And speaking about reaching out to the global south, I think we've also seen among the issues that uh, were discussed in the various panels some solutions to the problems that we're facing. And I'm speaking here about one particular one that I consider a bit uh, the shooting star of this year's edition, and this is hydrogen, which uh, was the subject of two dedicated panels and which offers also particular chances for partners all over the world. So I think this is, again, if we speak about just transition, one element that we can uh, count on for the future. I would then also um, take away from these first one and a half days something that ran across the panels like a, like a threat, a common threat, and that is the need to combine public and private engagement. So again, here, the many encounters that we've seen in the margins, in and on the panels is uh, let's say, a testimony to the fact that it is not only needed, but that it is also happening. And finally, although we are not yet across the finishing line, I would say I can already take away a lot of optimism. No one underestimates the challenge, but everyone here, everyone that participated, who participated, is committed, is dedicated, and I think we make this motto of this year's edition really come to life, from ambition to action. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much, Oliver Rentschler. Those were, I, those were really inspiring words and optimistic words. Thank you very much for taking the time to be here with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, Oliver Rentschler, the Director General for Climate Diplomacy, Economic Affairs and Technology here at the Federal Foreign Office. Thank you so very much for being here today.